Hi, Tom Anderson, Day 60 of 100 Days of Thankfulness. Today I'm talking about the importance of doing what you love, as well as why I'm so thankful for my good friend John Bacon. Uh, so, um, I mentioned before how, um, you know, in 1992 I had taken my first uh, class in 3D graphics and um, just, you know, I had been doing a lot of graphics programming up till that point and um, when I saw, you know, that I could apply a lot of the same techniques to 3D graphics, um, that started, uh, you know, ever since then I've just been, in my spare time, I've been doing a lot of uh, programming with 3D graphics. Um, in 1997, I had been working at CWC for five years and at CWC they had this amazing um, graphics department and I would say one of the best um, graphics artists that uh, worked there, he's also a programmer, is John Bacon. And um, he, somehow he had heard that I was working on um, this graphics engine. Actually, I was on my third version of a graphics engine I was working on at that time. And um, he came over and just wanted to see it and was asking me some questions. And, you know, I had written it in C++ and um, he just asked me, would you be interested in uh, working with me? Uh, us on a project and I, th I thought yeah that would be that would be amazing and you know to this day I, I look back on that experience of working with um, the graphics department and John in particular you know I was that was my first exposure to um, Java the Java programming language and you know John had a book you know and he was like here read this and so you know, I, I read Java and then, you know, it also had some JavaScript and basically it, what we were doing was we were doing a, um, con writing a configuration engine that would allow um, you to um, manipulate things in a 2, 2D world, just like drag and drop things, and then see it in, a, um, I believe it was a Cosmo player, uh, the Vermal, a Vermal world, uh, where you could see in 3D, um, the, the things just appear and you know I was in charge of having the 2D talk to the 3D where um, you know I would have these interpolated camera movements so whenever you dragged and dropped something in the 2D space of it um, I would have to move the camera to view the action and look around and that sort of thing um, so I, I did that as kind of a Java applet that sat between um, these this was all done in a um, Netscape browser at the time and um, you know I, I look back on that experience as just being you know that was probably my first uh, time that I got to do any 3D programming where I just um, loved what I was doing but I actually got paid for it as well so <laughs> you know but the, the neat thing about um, doing what you love is you don't have to be paid for it and, and you know that's certainly what I was doing with a lot of my free time in writing these graphics engines was I was doing what I loved even though I wasn't getting paid for it well eventually that can lead to you later getting paid for it um, after I had left um, CWC in 1998 I believe John left the same year and became uh, you know he was uh, working for a game development company in Iowa and I you know I visited him down there and he even said hey you want a, a job down here and you know he was gonna help me maybe interview down there and at that time I had just moved to the city and had you know I had a, you know gone a different path with my career um, but you know I'd never forgotten just that time I got to spend with John and um, you know, basically doing what I loved for this project. And, um, you know, I, I even had an opportunity, I, you know, 1998 was the year of opportunities because I, I could have actually stayed at CWC and been a programmer on the graphics team, which would have been a fun experience as well. Um, but I, you know, like I said, I ended up choosing to go up to the cities and I don't have any regrets there. I think it was the, the right decision because I had been at CWC for over five years at that point. Um, but I, you know, I did have to say goodbye to a lot of amazing people and, and, you know, certainly near the top of that list would be, um, John Bacon. I just loved working with you and, um, 
you know, who knows, maybe sometime in the future, but I, I'm guessing you might, you know, this might all be in your past now, but um, hope to have another chance to get caught up with you and, and visit with you sometimes. So uh, thanks again to John.